Hello, Pastor David. Hello, Pastor Bethren, and welcome to everybody yeah. joining with us today. So we just wanted to talk to you guys, have a good chat. Yeah, yeah. About, about this season that we're in with COVID. Absolutely. Uh, because perhaps people get a little bit confused about what's happening. Mm, mm. And so what we just wanted to say is that at Real Life Church, it's full steam ahead. It is. We are alive and well, and we are moving forward uh, despite the challenges that we're facing. Yeah, and um, our community is facing challenges. It is, absolutely. And it's a difficult time for a lot of people. A lot of people actually um, feel afraid. They do. They do. Yeah. Hey, what about that scripture for times like this that says... Um, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. That's I a beautiful love that. scripture. I yeah. Love that. And, and, and that's really applicable for today. Oh, so much. So we've got to look to the Lord. Yeah. But we yeah. still need to do the right thing. We and do. so as a church, we embrace the government um, ma mandates, you know, the restrictions and the rules. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, and so we just want to encourage people to make sure you wear your mask to yes, church. We're having please. our services. Please. Full steam ahead, but mm. please bring your mask if you forget. We might have a spare one. Of course, if you, you got an, an exemption, that's different. We yes, appreciate that. Yep. We but we all want to do the right thing yeah. and um, obey, obey the rules of the land. Yeah. But, but we just want you to know that we are really confident in this season that we are moving forward with the vision of, of our house. Yep. And, uh, and also, we want to remind you that we have a shepherd amen and uh and so let's live like we've got a shepherd yeah and so our church services are on as normal the yes. youth group meets as normal um we can do these things mm. uh, and so you know there are some density limits but we're allowed up to 150 people in our building we do have two services Oh, actually, it's not a building. It's 150 in the auditorium, in the auditorium here. We right. do have both services. And so if you're a little bit concerned about the first service being too big, come to the second service. Great we, idea. We have lunch. And it's 150, actually, plus staff on top of that. Wow. So really, we, we've got we this. can do this. Yeah, we can do church this, in person or otherwise watch online. But it's really important that we keep our eyes upon Jesus Amen. at this time. But, but can we just say, in, 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 please hear our hearts on this. We're not making light. We understand the severity of all that's happening. Absolutely, we respect yeah. and we yeah. understand that people, particularly with, with huge health issues, that this is a very crucial time. So we, we understand that, but we want to encourage you. We want to give you confidence uh, that we are looking to the source. Uh, absolutely. And also just one other thing is to let's be patient. With one another. With one another. Yes. Actually, with people in the community too. You know, and if, if you see somebody's forgotten to put their mask on, don't lecture them or whatever. Let's just Don't be grace. gracious with each other. Sometimes we think, I mean, I've, I've been guilty of forgetting Me too. sometimes. Me too. Um, so let's just show respect to one another. Yeah. And let's just look for the opportunities during this COVID season of the blessings that God has for us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Guys, we love you. Um, and we look forward to seeing you Sunday, 9 o'clock or 11.15. God bless you, everybody. Bye-bye.